Smythe is a tea expert, and he is mm. here to introduce us to one of the bigger trends in tea right now. Is tea, it seems like it's everywhere these days. It used to be coffee, but it seems like it's switched to tea. Yeah, tea is enjoying tremendous growth uh, right now, estimated 35 to 40 percent growth uh, from one year to the next. And in fact, uh, we predict that within 20 years it'll outpace coffee and we'll actually, uh, much, much like what Starbucks did for, for tea and our, for coffee in, in Seattle in the, in the 70s and 80s, 90s particularly, uh, we're expecting Vancouver to be the home of, of fine Chinese tea. Is like that this. right? Yeah. yeah, so the demand for you got for your uh, product, tell us a little bit about that and what you brought in uh, particularly here to sample. Sure. Uh, as, as we were talking uh, before the segment, uh, the, we were in the news recently for, for offering a, a, a tea cake, which is a disc that weighs approximately 357 grams, uh, valued at $600,000. And although we're not going to drink that today, <laughs> because one 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 pot would cost one hundred and fifty thousand. Right. Apparently. Wow. Because once you once you break it open, it it, it devalues the. Now, what's the, the history the on that? Why is it so expensive? It's one of the one of the best drinks in the world. Yeah. Um, and obviously, there's there's a tremendous interest in China towards uh, what what they see as cultural cultural legacy, cultural um, works of art. Much right. like uh, some of these teas are valued in the same way a Picasso or a, or a Van Gogh would be. And so through auctions, the, the price are steadily, steadily increasing. But uh, this tea, although it's somewhat younger, is still from the same process. Uh, it's a naturally aged pour. This is about between 20 and 25 years old. And where does pour tea come from? It comes from a place called Yunnan, or Yunnan, southwestern China. You not only filled that teapot, but you poured water on top of that. Why? Well, with pour, we want to maintain a really high temperature. Um, in order to, to steep out the best quality tea soup, is what I call it. Uh, it's a translation from, from the Chinese. Uh, you need 96 to 98 degree water. And if, if the temperature goes below that, it, uh, it tends to be a little bit flatter. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't pull out the oil and uh, the health benefits, all these things. So tell us about this one, Eric, what uh, we'll be sampling here. Are we going to have a specific taste? What, what should we be noticing? Well, there are no rules in tea. Um, it is, from an esoteric point of view, tea is what you make it. So your experience of the tea is, is your own. Mine is a little bit different. Sometimes we try to say, well, it has date fragrance or plum fragrance or sandalwood or something like that. But really, it's, it's up to the individual. But if you were to taste this, would you know the specific region it's from? Yeah, I could tell you how old it is by tasting it. How old you is could. this? Uh, I, I think it's about 93. We're told it's 20, 20 year. But uh, back before, before the explosion in the poor market, uh, people weren't quite as sticky about identifying one year to the next. But uh, in around 2007, the, the market increased 10,000%. And so... Uh, and so now when you, when, you, when you buy a new tea cake, like uh, this is our, our tea brick, they come with birth certificates and have, uh, you know. Uh, People take it very <laughs> seriously. Birth certificates. Well, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's extremely highly counterfeited. One of the, one of the reasons why our company is, is special is the relationships that we have through family connections to, to Hong Kong. My, my boss, Ken De Young, his, uh, his father's, the, his family is the, the largest collector and preserver of, of this type of tea in the world. They, he, they control roughly 70% of the world market, which is like controlling 70% of red wine. Or, right. Like wow. it's, it's, yeah. Significant. It's, it's phenomenally extraordinary. And, uh, and he, this family tradition has, has the reputation of, of authenticity because, as I say, it's highly counterfeited. Yeah. Um, you, I, I was over at a, a friend's house having tea the other day, and, uh, and he, made, he made a tea for me. And... It was tea that would pro had previously been drunk, dried in the sun, and then repressed into a. That sounds wrong. Oh, and then the and, 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 and the and the wrapper tea. was the wrapper was a was a forgery. So oh boy. Um, very quickly it, before if, if you want if you want the benefits from this type of tea, you have to get the authentic thing. You need yeah. you need to go quality. Okay, I was going to ask you what are the benefits of this type of tea? The health benefits. Extremely relaxing. It's it's something that that monks meditators. Um, have gravitated to, towards as well as emperors, um, and so 
now it's a great buzz with yoga. Um, it's, it's not highly, ca the, the darker the tea is, the less caffeinated it is. So, um, so it's something that can relax you. It gives you energy, but not in a, in a, a spiky way that, that, that coffee right. might. Okay. And you can order this online. Sure. All right. Sure. For more information, uh, six How mountains many tons do you want? tea website. So <laughs> it's sixmountainstea.com.